Well, hello everyone. It is your host here. It is Team Rai Rai. And how's everyone doing out there on this Friday's edition? I am doing very well. Ladies and gentlemen, I have social media accounts. But don't worry, I will discuss that later on in this video. Now sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now this video will be strictly an article. Let's get this show on the road. Alrighty then, now everyone is aware that it is now confirmed from what? This past Monday, Brock Lesnar versus Omas, for the first time ever, they're going to duke it out at Minia. A lot of fans are not too happy. No, wrestling fans is never happy about the changeup. But you guys are going to still watch it regardless, right? This this match will definitely will be a squash match. No doubt about it, in my opinion. On paper, Lesnar should win. But this is WWE we're talking about. Probably Omas will win. Hopefully, that's not the case. Now... The original game plan is he posted a face Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. But, of course, that match is not going to take place. You know, what if that match did take place? I mean, I think that'd be a very interesting storyline. Very interesting match, but it never happened. Now, I'm just going to skip this. Lesnar versus Wyatt was nodded. Nick's nodded. Or mixed feelings, or however you want to say that, of Lesnar of unknown reason. So he has to have a reason why this match is not going to take place. So maybe he doesn't think that Y is one of those guys that he should face at Mania. He wants those guys like Triple H back then, or Taker, or HBK, those kind of guys, you know? That's just an example. Now listen to this again. I'm just, I'm, I'm skipping around. Lesnar was supposed to win, but that was changed. Shocker. Bobby Lashley winning by disqualification. Instant Lesnar winning would lead to Lesnar versus Wyatt at WrestleMania 39. But once again, things had changed. Now, I don't know if Lesnar has anything to do with the original game plan of the WrestleMania match of, of himself. Probably did. Now I also heard that McMahon put his big nose into this and he changed it. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. You know, he wants his big WrestleMania moment for Omas versus Lesnar. Do we really need that? No, we do not. But it don't matter how the fans react. It's going to happen regardless, you know. It might be a squash match. Who the hell knows? Then maybe, I know this sounds silly, maybe Bray Wyatt will come afterwards, but highly unlikely. So, at least one good thing is, Lesnar is not in the title picture. Because I'm tired of that. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of it. Let someone else get the opportunities. So, now, the question is I have for you. Do you think this would be a squash match? Lesnar versus Omas? Or do you think... You go pretty a good. Now I'm not gonna say it's gonna go the distance. I'm not gonna say, oh wow, five star match. No way in hell. Omas, this is his third WrestleMania. He's not that good. Right? Why the hell do we don't release his candy ass? Yes, I stole it from The Rock. Catchphrase, big deal, right? And if they get rid of Omas, it's not really a big loss. It isn't. He's like just a big old. Tall dude, he sucks in the mic. He's not very good in the ring. So why is this match happening? McMahon. It has to be McMahon. There's no way in the hell Triple H approved this match. This is definitely a McMahon's um, thing. Because I heard online that he found his way to get in the creating department and he wanted to make this match. Of course, probably the legend don't give a crap who his opponent is except... Bray Wyatt. I don't know. I think maybe Bray Wyatt and Lesnar had some backstage stuff back in the day. It supposed to happen a couple years ago. Remember that time when Bray Wyatt eliminated um, 
Lesnar at the Rumble that year? Or was it 2000 and... That's the year that Triple H won it. I was there live. And that posted a separate match at the Mania, but it never happened again. That The first time, but... Yeah, it posted it happened, but then they changed it to Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose. Of course, Brock Lesnar destroyed uh, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose had no chance, no chance in hell in that matchup. Yes, I stole it for Vince. Big flipping deal. So, what's your thoughts? You know, I know Brock Lesnar worked for the company, but he should have had no say so of his opponents. That's up to Vince. Or Triple H, you know, he could put, he, he could put his t two cents in, but Vince or Triple H don't have to listen to Triple H. I'm sorry, Vince or Triple H, who's ever in charge of these matches lately, they don't have to listen to Lesnar. If Lesnar don't like it, then he can leave. It's not really a big deal, but he's a moneymaker, so they have to listen to him, you know. It's, I think that's kind of stupid, but probably I got it all wrong. Will you guys be glad when Lesnar is gone, gone in his company? Or will you be missing him? I'm not a big fan of him anymore. Maybe when he was a full-time wrestler and when he put the passion into this business. It looked like he don't give a flying crap about it. He's just there for his WrestleMania paint check and he's gone until SummerSlam. Maybe just me or maybe it's not me. <clears throat> Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the show, that's fine. Again, if not, then don't worry about it. And I'll see you guys tonight. Thanks for watching and take care.